Zone stamps are library parts attached to zones. You can customize their appearance by setting the appropriate stamp type for each zone category, by turning on or off information, or by defining pens and colors. Let's customize the stamps. Display the ground floor. Select all the zones. Open the Zone Selection Settings dialog from the info box. Display the Settings panel. Define the content order. Display Zone Name first, followed by Zone Areas, Finishes, and additional tags. Delete all other rows by pressing the minus buttons next to the rows. Click OK. The zone representation will change immediately, but there are things missing. We set the additional tags row, yet it cannot be seen. Select the Exhibition Space Zone, and open its settings dialog. Display the Categories and Properties panel. Add Display Spaces as IFC Property. Scroll down and click the Manage IFC Properties button. Click Apply Predefined Rule. Select Omni Class at the top. Type Display Spaces in the Search field and click the Search button. Select Display Spaces from the search results and click Apply. Click OK. Display the Settings panel and select additional tags from the list and check mark Show Additional Tags. Choose the Create Sorting option for the Select Data field and select the Parameter Name option for the Display Data By field. Select 13-37, 13, 00 display spaces for the first row in the list below. Click OK. Now the Exhibition Space Zone is displayed correctly, showing additional data in a standard compliant format. In the same way, we could add renovation status, fire ratings, space owners, descriptions occupancy, ventilation type, and so on. Please note, additional custom data, even IFC-related parameters, can be displayed for zones. This is extremely useful if there is a necessity to report using a standard, such as OmniClass or COBE. Repeat the same content order settings on the gallery level without defining the additional tags. Open Gallery from the pop-up navigator or from the tab bar. Select the Gallery Zone and open its Settings dialog. Display the Settings panel. Select a Zone Name, Zone Area, and Finishes for Zone Content. Remove all additional rows. Click OK to apply the changes. Display the 3D view. You can either do the same process after selecting the gallery zone, or, especially in cases of high-rise buildings with many stories and zones to modify, you can select all zones from all levels using the 3D view. Turn on the visibility of zones in the Filter Elements in 3D dialog. Select the Zone tool in the toolbox and select all zones in the project using the Edit Select All Zones command. Please note that all zones are now selected and ready to be modified in one step. Deselect the zones. In this chapter, you model the spaces inside the building structures using the Zone tool. These elements display information about the zones on the floor plan 
and also can appear in 3D as real 3D elements. You change the appearance of the floor plan by displaying fills and category colors. Later on, you'll learn how to retrieve this information in schedules.